This is the flag of Namibia. We are now touring the African country Namibia. This is the political map of Namibia. You can see it is bordered by South Africa, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Angola and Zambia. Tropic of Capricorn crosses this country. And here we know we have the famous Namib and Kalahari Desert. The capital city you can see is Windho. Today we'll visit one of the most famous wildlife park of Africa that is Itosha National Park. This will be a afternoon game drive. In my previous videos, we have already seen the capital city of Windho, solitaire Sosuvlai sand dunes, coastal scenic flight in Swakopmund, and the seal colony in Cape Cross. As I said before, we will see the Itosha National Park. These are the forest rangers. We are near the entry gate. We are now taking entry permits to the park. You can see all the cars have queued up for their permits. That is our car in the distance. These are the rules and regulations of the park. Itosha is the second biggest park in Namibia. This is a poster. First sight of the zebras and some springbok. This is Oryx and you know this is the national animal of Namibia. This is Wildebeest. Suddenly we came across a big desert elephant behind the bush. Itosha National Park is a national park in northwest Namibia and one of the largest national parks in Africa. We spotted two big elephants now. They are very close to us. There's one more elephant there. These are wildebeests. The area is home to hundreds of species of mammals, birds and reptiles, including several threatened and endangered species such as the black rhinos. Wildebeest taking milk. Suddenly came across a group of rhinos. It was really a brilliant experience to see these rhinos here in Itosha National Park. You know that 61 black rhinos were killed during poaching in Namibia during 2022, 46 of which were killed in Itosha.
lot of zebras, springbok and wildebeests all in one frame. There are some important geographical features of Itosha National Park. First is the salt pan. The salt pans are the most noticeable geological features in the Itosha National Park. The hypersaline conditions of the pan limit the species that can permanently inhabit the pan itself. The salt pan is usually dry but fills with water briefly in summer when it attracts pelicans and flamingos. You can see a giraffe near the water body. This is an impala. The spring bucks are crossing in front of her car. We are now in an afternoon game drive in Itosha National Park. We now spotted another big elephant. Yes, giraffe, very close. There you can see the elegant giraffes. The Itosha National Park has a savanna desert climate. Plenty of animals we are seeing. A lot of spring bucks. Now we are seeing a male ostrich. It's a water body and plenty of animals have come to drink water from this water body. Itosha National Park has about 114 mammal species, 340 bird species and 110 reptile species. The zebras, the spring bucks. Oh, 
and the giraffes all are coming to drink water oryx also has come to drink water Dolomite hills on the southern border of the park near the Anderson Gate is another geological feature. It was named after a young boy herding cattle who never returned, probably implying a high density of predators like leopards in the hills. So this is also sometimes called leopard hills. And that's a Kori Bastard. Now we spotted some more elephants. They cross the road in front of us. Kori Bastard drinking water. After completing the afternoon game drive, we will now proceed to our homestay in Namibia, which will also be a very thrilling experience, but it will be 30 kilometers away from this game. After seeing my videos, please do like, share, and comment. And please do not forget to subscribe my channel.